And you lovely lot and welcome to Sunday's edition of Crafters TV where we are going to be getting, well, we're going to get crafty, we're going to get colourful and we're going to be going over all things adhesive. You know, that is uh, something that I absolutely love when it comes to all things adhesive. So that's what you're watching at the moment. Starter skills all about adhesives. But what we have got later on in the day in that middle show, we've also got a first look and then towards the end of the day we've got a second chance Sunday now when it comes to starter skills it is all about as it says in the title it's about going right back to basics when it comes to selective products today's is all about adhesives and glue school more specifically now when it comes to that if you do have any questions anything you want to check please feel free to fire them across we've got Rachel on the socials this morning she's already saying that Lauren is already in, Pamela's in as well, Georgie Ann's in, Sam McDonald's in from just down in Darlington, which I'm sure, just like here, it's freezing cold, absolutely bitter cold, but we do have a lot of fun coming your way today. And I say we, because she was here all day yesterday, and I know because I was looking at the comments so many, you absolutely had a blast with Corin and... Debbie Robinson. Yay! Good morning. morning, Craig. It's lovely to be here with you all day today. Yes. I really look forward to today. Uh, look forward to it because we've got loads planned for you throughout the day, uh, including kickstarting with this gl little mini glue school, it I'm going to call it. A little it? mini glue school. But like Craig said, if you have any questions you want to ask, fire away to the socials, the social send through to Craig, and we'll try and answer as many questions as you can. I've just got specific glues on the show today, so mm -hmm. things like all purpose, tacky glue. We've got my favourite three. The yes. color glue, the chunky glue, as I like to call it, uh, along with Craig's favorite, his mm -hmm. foam pads, uh, foam on a roll. What else have we got, Craig? Tape pens, we we've do. got the straight and the dotty. These sprays. Um, sprays, yes. Something actually that doesn't get mentioned quite it a lot. Doesn't. So, no. yeah, we've got all four of the adhesive sprays on the show as well. So, it should be a good show. It will be. Um, hopefully, give you a little, um, for people who may be new to Crafters mm -hmm. TV, a little bit of an uh, insight to why you need the different glues. Because mm -hmm. I was one of those believers back at the beginning thinking there's no way I need all those glues. Exactly. They're just trying to get to part me, part me with my money. So that, but honestly, they all do a they different do. job. And that's why you need a wealth of different glues in your crafty stash exactly. to get the right glue for the right job. And we'll talk about that throughout this show. So, yeah, any questions you want to ask, fire away. What I will say as well, what you see Debbie using and talking about, they will find them all across on the website. That is, of course, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. As usual, it may be a start of skills, but you're still going to be able to find them on Shop the Day. That's where we're going to be giving you a look, head start as to what is in this show, and then Second Chance Sunday, which is all about some of their phenomenal deals, bundles and products that we've had throughout the week as well. But as we say, we do have many of you tuning in already this bright and chilly morning, Sunday morning. We've got Michelle Knits for You is saying good morning all. We've also got Shadaya saying good morning, Crepe and Fab Debbie. 
Oh, good morning to you, all the way in Canada. We've got Lily of the Valley, 1980, saying good morning from Poland. Oh, well, if it's cold here, I bet you it's even freezing cold there. I could only imagine. Um, but as I was saying earlier on, Lorna is also in saying, hi, everyone. I hope that you are all having a great weekend, no matter what the weather. Well, I'm having a lovely weekend. As Debbie said as well, she is as well. We have got Charlotte in the gallery. Sure, she's having a lovely weekend. And as always, Jake is dotting back and forwards, getting sorted for the day ahead on Crafters TV. Right, Tio. All purpose glue. We have got our all purpose glue. You have got a couple of different sizes available. It is clear, it's see through, it serves a purpose when it comes to the items, the products that you use. You can use them, they're easy to use in ways such as Debbie's away to show us now. Absolutely. All purpose glue, it's um, the glue of choice when it comes to using uh, your papers to adhere for your mats and layers and things like that. Also, lots more other uh, things that you can use this for. Um, it is available in two sizes, so you have your 100ml uh, bottle and you have your 250ml bottle. Uh, both come with screw tops and I'll just quickly explain um, how you would use these. Uh, the one that we most tend to use is the smaller bottle, uh, but obviously for your bigger, larger projects you have the, the choice of having a, a large bottle as well and the screw top system is you just simply unscrew that top and then it releases all the glue itself I'll move that to one side because what I'm going to concentrate on is on the smaller bottle um, and again you'll see that the bottle itself and if I just bring this down here just for a second has this screw um, screw bottle top what you're not going to do is you're not going to screw from there, you're going to unscrew from that one and then your glue is ready to uh, use. Now it is the best glue when you're sticking papers, so I've got a couple of papers here, I've got a textured cardstock and a pattern paper and it's the best glue uh, to use when it comes to adhering your uh, pattern papers. It'll give you rigidity as well because it dries like cement. You've got a, a couple of minutes before it dries solidly, so you've got a lot, what we call a, like a repositional, you'll often hear us refer to it as um, a glue that you can um, manoeuvre your cardstock around or wiggle around. You've got a bit of wiggle time, that's the word I tend to use a lot of. Um, but again, it's not going to leave any uh, warpage or because it, it, it doesn't soak through your papers. So for that reason, I'm just going to show you very quickly how to use this. Now, when you've unscrewed your top, it's ready to go and you've got like a little flat spatula. Some bottles don't have that on, some bottles do, but that's a nice one for spreading it out. Um, like like I said, all you're going to do is apply just onto the top. Now, you don't need a massive amount of glue for this, so you're just going to pop that all down on to your patterned paper. And then it takes a couple of minutes to dry. So when I talked about the wiggle time, it does mean that if you pop it on wrong and you want a little bit of time to manoeuvre it, you've got the wiggle time to be able to position it into place. And then you just run your finger across the top and of course, if you haven't got it into place, you've got time, because of that couple of minutes, you've got time to peel it back and then position it into the right place that you need. And then when you let that dry, it literally dries flat. It doesn't warp, you don't get any bubbles. It keeps it nice and flat. So it's the perfect glue for your mats and layers, um, but gives you extra rigidity, especially when it comes to your cards, um, for when you're adhering them onto the front of the cards. You get any of that bendage or any warpage, and it's that perfect glue. It's a solvent-based glue. It dries clear. It comes out clear. And also, as well, I'll just quickly mention, if I dropped a little bit on, do you know when you have, like, a little bit too much glue uh, and you apply too much on? What you've got is you've got time to be able to get that off so it doesn't leave any marks onto your card. And what it does, it dries up in, like, little glue balls, so it enables you to take that off. Not with you. There we go. Taking that off. And then it leaves no marks on your cardstock at all, and you've got time to be able to get that off. Uh, but it is the perfect glue for doing all your mats and layers, multiple mats and layers, um, and it literally dries super straight. It is the choice of glue for all those mats and layers, Craig. It really is. And you've got the two sizes there. You've got the 100 mils. You've also got the 250 mils as well. You've seen the ways, the explanations in which Debbie was showing you and telling you a moment ago. Really is a firm favourite. And that is your Koalal all-purpose glue. Can I just show you as well, Craig, 
course you we can. Get, oh, we Please get often do. asked this as well because um, I, I did last night, so I did a couple of little pieces last night. Because we get often asked, why can't you use tacky glue yeah. for that? And the reason being is tacky is a water-based glue, mm -hmm. uh, PVA glue. Um, now it's got its own purposes and its own qualities, which we'll talk about in a second. Uh, but with the same two pieces of cardstock that I used, and I'm just going to ask Charlotte just to um, show the above um, piece. Can you see if I do it up from above? You've got warpage on this you do, one. You can see that. Yeah, and you've got like bobbles and where it and, and it's literally the same two pieces of cardstock. I applied tacky glue to this one and I applied our all purpose to this one. And what you've got is super flat, super dry. It's, it's dried with not a single crease, a single mark in place. Um, but what you've got with this one, because the water, it soaks, it has to soak mm -hmm. in somewhere because you've got that water content. And what it does is it tends to soak into your cardstock, which then, in, like you can see, it looks all crinkled. And that's why we always say about having the two different uh, glues for two different jobs. I would not be using tacky glue for anything to do with mats and layers. I would always choose the um, glue of choice for that one, which is the um, all-purpose glue. So I just wanted to quickly yeah. just talk about that one. That's good. And in actual fact, because I know you said we're just wait to have a look at the tacky glue in a minute, but Zoe Carver, and you actually kind of covered this, but I'm going to ask uh, again anyway, Debbie. She's on YouTube it's just, and she's saying, what is the difference between normal PVA glue and tacky glue. I think it's 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 a p pretty much the same. You've got that tacky yeah. with our tacky glue. It's a couple of well, I'm saying a couple of minutes. You just need a couple of minutes to get that set because I actually leave my tacky glue to go tacky mm -hmm. and then. A and I'll come on to that in a second because I'm going to show you yeah. in a second. Uh, but there's not much difference. It's just the quality. And I will tell you now, this is a premium quality tacky glue, exactly. PVA glue, um, which is not just for card making. There's a lot of things that you can use for it, which I'll, I'll talk about in a minute. And I'll, I'll show you because I've got a little board to show you of the strength of that glue and why it's that little bit different to the you know the cheap and made yeah. kind of glues and I don't mean that in a disrespectful no, no, way no, no. they all have their own purposes but our tacky glue is premium tacky PVA glue yeah. uh, but water based yeah that's it yeah and the, the thing is you'll find as De David was saying as well the cheaper the glue the more water content there it's kind of like a bit of a filler which is very less within the tacky glue tacky glue we have got our water-based adhesive here from Colal. Once again, many multiple ways in which you can use this when it comes to adhering your projects. That one there, that size is a 100 mil. And let's see what we can be using this tacky glue with with Debbie. So tacky glue is the best glue for anything that's got a coated um, cardstock or a coated covering. Things like Centura Pearl that's got that pearlescent shimmer. Things like our mirror card, um, our glitter cardstock. It's the best glue for adhering um, coats, of uh, layers of those uh, different types of cardstocks. Now you'll see with the bottle, it comes in a, and if I remember rightly, it is a 100 mil bottle. Um, it is our water-based glue. So if I just turn that around just for a second so you can see. You've got this same kind of shape. It's obviously different in terms of it's white, um, but it is a water-based glue. And with that, whenever you're using this bottle, you do need to give it that little bit of a shape before you start using it to mix up and take mix, make sure that water doesn't settle anywhere. So you give it a good old shape when you start. And then you've got a screw top. So again, if I just come above just to show you, on the top, it's not this middle central barrel that you're needing. It's the top part. And you're just going to unscrew to... Um, um, literally take out that glue. Now it does set like concrete, it really is a, a very uh, water-based glue that grabs very quite quickly. Now again with anything, um, I always say don't don't put tons of it down. I've got a little bit of a box lid here just to show you what I mean and where we're going to pop that on. But this allows you to be able to take out your glue and pop on. Let me just make sure I've got that open. There we go. And take off the top. There we go. And then just pop down our glue. Wait a minute, I think I've got a bottle here that's not playing nicely. Let me just see if this one will work. There we go. Let's see, grab that out. There we go. Now, what we'll do is, when you take it out, I like to spread the glue. So, in order to make sure that um, you've got it applied, I just use the top of your finger. You can use the applicators as well, but just to spread that out. Now, it, you can noticeably see that it comes out white. It will dry clear. So, it, even though it is in white in uh, texture when you see it, it does dry absolutely clear. Now, I leave, literally leave it just a couple of seconds to get that little bit tacky. And then what you're going to do, especially if you're using it for box making, it's 
fabulous for construction and I do use it a lot for construction. When you take your lid, all you're going to do is give it a little uh, rub with your finger and it's always best not to use too much of the glue because less is more in this case. But I'm just literally just adhering that and then letting that set. And then I would do the same with all the other sides as well. So let's go in and pop a little bit down and then again all I'm going to do is just, just get my finger just over there and spread that a little bit and then exactly the same let go of that little bit tacky and again you can just wipe that I do that with your finger and your thumb and then again just continue and you can already see that's quite set grabbed really quickly and when you let that dry it will dry really solid but I do have just a quick little board to show you of all the absolute fabulous things that it can stick now this board has got everything on here in terms of like 3D things that you can stick on. I've got tape pens, I've got flowers, resin flowers, gems, keys, little screwdriver, lots of things. Now they've been stuck down with our tacky glue. It dries like cement, rock hard, it literally does. And it's a, a, a absolutely incredible glue for all things that have got construction and all things coated. Absolutely amazing glue for that reason. So from seeing what Debbie's just done with construction to the board and all the things that adheres, that is your call out, that is your tacky glue, 100 mils that you can see within that one, seeing how you can apply it, but the different ways and uses when it comes to adhering items, then that is, of course, your call out tacky glue. Craig, I, I talk is, about it, it a lot. I know I showed you at the beginning. I showed you at the beginning the difference between uh, kalal or purpose to tacky, um, but it's a fabulous look. And I would always recommend anything that's got coated. So our Centura Pearl, our Mirror card, um, any other company's cardstock as well, exactly the same. Anything with coating, that's the glue of choice. Mm -hmm. It does. Re and I, when, it, when I showed you that board, honestly, I, I, I still this board's been made. I mean. I'm going to talk so about long, ago, long it? ago, a long, long time ago, in terms of all the things that you can apply to it. And there's not a single mark on there as well. It does dry extremely clean, even though it comes out white. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, let it go a little bit tacky. Mm -hmm. When we say a couple of, I say a couple of minutes, just a few, yeah. about 30 seconds to let it go tacky. And then adhere your things on. And look at the, the things that you can pop on here are just absolutely incredible. I mean, to hold and rid it, I can't, I there's no way. I'm <laughs> yeah, I trying to put some force on that. I can't get Get that off it's just absolutely amazing and look at all the other things that you can stick onto there like a pebble a great big pebble i wouldn't even thought i that. know and i honestly whoever thought of doing this board this isn't mine i'm not going to take credit for this board i mean it's absolutely amazing but it's just to show you the properties and how strong that glue mm -hmm. is i know leanne's told me many a time that she stuck she stuck shoes down with this do you know when you get the little flap of um, yeah. rubber coming away from the bottom of your shoe that's a great glue to use um, it it's got so many different purposes in terms of craft it's absolutely amazing mm -hmm. I, honestly the difference between the two is obvious in mm -hmm. terms of the paper but in the difference between why you need the two different glues, for me, again, is one of those more obvious things. You know yourself, Craig, yeah. we now use all of those glues because they all have their own properties do. for different things. They really, really do. And also, once again, just within that last demonstration, Debbie, I know that you showed it. However, Melanie is saying and she's, uh, all that she's put is uh, call out glue. So this is why I'm going to read this question. Yep. Is call out glue best for assembling boxes? No. No, I, I, I'm going to be totally honest, no. You can do, and you probably put some paper clips there. It will be fine for that, but if you want really good rigidity, and especially if you're using a coat of cardstock, that would be the one. You can use it for box making, but again, you're going to have to hold it into mm -hmm. place because it doesn't dry as quick. Tacky, tacky is quite... Um, quite a quick adhesive, a quick grab. Yes, Shall we call it, it that? We'll call yes, it a quick, quick grab. grab. Whereas that isn't, you've got a couple of minutes before it dries. It will dry like cement, so if you want to use paper clips, absolutely, if that's the only one you've got. Uh, but then, yes, you can. But personally, I use that one or a tape pen Definitely. or a red liner tape. But you can do it if you need be. Yeah, absolutely. I, uh, and last one just for now as well. It's not necessarily a question, but uh, should I say, and I actually remember this as well. Now, just to point out as well, this was a few years ago, but should I on Facebook saying, Craig, Sam from Craftstash a couple of years ago did a tutorial using glue and CC Call Out Glue was number one on the chart of about 15 glues. 
yeah. no warping. So that gives you an indication as well. And although I say it was a number of years ago, you think of the, the quality uh, and the properties that goes into diesels, they do just get better as time goes on. So that's something for you to think about as well. 3D glue gel. This one here is your 3D glue gel. Now that one, it is 80 mils or it is 83 grams, but you've got your glue gel. You've got all your different, different tools that you can apply it to your projects if you so wish. Always comes in the little box together. This is how it comes with the tools. Another great way of using it when it comes to your cards and your projects. And Debbie's going to show us. I am going to show you especially how to uh, pop your glue into all those uh, tools that come in that toolkit. Now, 3D uh, Kalal glue is a non-silicone based uh, dimensional adhesive um, and it's very, inc it's incredibly strong. So I'm just going to show you very quickly how to um, literally take all your tools out of the box and how we use all of these tools that come in there. So there's your tube of 3D Kalal glue. Uh, you have a syringe in here, what I call a, like a corned beef key. Mm -hmm. um, you'll know what I mean by that, but it's the one that applies where you just uh, be able to twist onto the bottom end of your um, glue. You've also got a syringe in here, so I'm going to take that syringe out because I'm going to show you how to apply this as well. And then you've got a little top, or two tops, should I say, um, one for your syringe and one for, if I just undo this, one for the top of your uh, uh, tube itself uh, for when you want to apply. All you'll need to do is cut the end off and then you've got a tube of glue that you can then use uh, for your larger projects. Now, of course, you can decanter it into your um, syringe. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to take the key and I'm going to just literally hold that and then get that to the bottom so it's almost like you pop it in and then twist it like you would do when you're turning those canned keys. And then I'm just going to now just squeeze that out of the bottom. Now what you do is you take your tube, uh, sorry, you take your syringe, pop it over the lid and then just insert that glue into there now i go it depends on how much you want in there but um, literally just scoop that off i'll come to that in a second and then you're going to apply that in now when i push that through i've got that the right end yes you have debbie it comes out and if i just show you a really thick gloopy glue so i'm just going to pop that onto a little bit of tissue let's just pop that there and then make sure when you want to pop your top on that the glue comes out at the top so it's always sealed up so you've got no air bubbles and then pop it in and it's good to go now that'll last you quite a while and it will be perfect for all your decoupage uh, projects however what you must remember is that when you pop the top back on you need to twist it until it comes just over the edge like that and then put your top onto it that means there's no air bubbles in there and it stops it from drying up and it won't go hard so you've not wasted the rest of that glue into there so that is how you use your tools in your kit and it is a so honestly a superb glue when it comes to all adhering anything with 3D that you want dimensions things like your flowers like uh, things like uh, your bigger gems all sorts of different things that you can be using for it ribbons and all those kind of things that you can apply um, it's absolutely incredible gel uh, it is that th 3D it's got that thickness to it and it dries incredibly hard about uh, 20 to 30 minutes touch dry if you're leaving anything overnight or posting leave it overnight to dry thoroughly there you go. And that one is your call, Al. That is your glue gel. It is 80 mils or 83 grams. You've got that full container with, of course, all the tools as well. It does come packaged as well. The ways that you've seen and how you can decant it is the ways that Debbie just showed you a moment ago. So that's your uh, glue gel. It is one of those, Debbie, and, you know, we'll have a laugh and a joke because, you know, I love my foam pads. <laughs> but as a beginner, I would always recommend going with the glue gel. Yes. For, you know, try them both. But as a beginner with the glue gel is because with foam pads, once you're in to place, and if you've just gone that little bit heavy handed, that's it. It's stuck. Yeah. You can't move it. Whereas with your glue gel, you've got that manoeuvability, as you were saying. You have, because it's a wet glue. So it's still a wet glue in terms of like our 
all-purpose and our tacky glue they're wet glues um, but I do use and you'll often see me use it a lot I use our 3d color glue uh, in terms of decoupage um, you'll shape so you'll still do all your shaping that you do um, when you're doing decoupage if you want a natural decoupage look um, and it allows you to do that it gives you that time to be able to do that as well uh, but absolutely it's, it's fabulous glue and it is my favorite and mm -hmm. I do call it, it the chunky glue because of that thick consistency and it is incredibly strong again if you've heard Leanne Leanne will tell you about all the things that she's yes. had to do over the years in terms of using the glues and carries things like this around in her handbag because <laughs> she she uses it they've got great purposes they really have and it's one of those as well that's odorless it doesn't smell it's got no and, and there's no silicon in there so that the silicon part of glues is what that creates that smell and that odor and um, what this doesn't do because it's a non-silicone glue it doesn't have that odor to it as well but it's absolutely incredible and I love my glue Craig don't mm -hmm, know about you, do, you but yeah. I absolutely love our 3d Kalal glue for that reason absolutely yeah and even for me and you know I do love it as well and there's ways there's a time there's a place that I'll choose to use it over the foam pad so it really is a good one uh, there's two questions here although Debbie did just cover them a moment ago in what she was explaining so I'll read them I'll read them both out together uh, Debbie Linda was saying every time I put the glue gel in the syringe it dries rock solid I can never get the glue out I know Debbie showed that. And then Pammy is saying, morning all, Craig, could Debbie please show us decanting the tiny, the tacky glue into the small tipped applicator, I please? absolutely oh. will do, because I um, take, I'll get Jake to find me one and I'll mm -hmm. do that for you, because I do have mine uh, into there, um, into little bottles, into the to fine tip applicator, yeah. sorry. So I'll get our Jake, I'll, if he's around, I'll ask him to get me one and I will absolutely show you how to decanter that. Um, going back to that quick question, yes. just so I can uh, answer and reply to that yeah, of course. it's about making sure there's no air bubbles in there oh, yes. if you've got an air bubble <laughs> it's like a kiss of death <laughs> because you can't get it out and it will dry because it allows the glue to solidify yes. um, and so that's why it's always important when you come to that when you come to popping it in making sure you push your syringe in if you've wasted a little bit you know, going out of the top, don't worry, it's a little tiny bit of glue, but what you do need to make sure it's right up to the very top before you put your nozzle on. Now, there may be an occasion where in there you'll have a tiny little bit of an air bubble, but that is easily achieved to get out by using a pokey tool just to knock out that top little part. It shouldn't have affected this as long as you've got no air bubbles inside your tube, and that's why um, it's important to get the decantering part right. So Definitely. I hope that's helped, and I hope showing you how to do that uh, as helped you with that as well but yes that's that's the reason why you've had um it dry up yeah. is because there's been some air bubbles somewhere stuck in there that's allowed it to dry because the, the air it l makes it solidify and that's why you you know can't get it out then it's it's done with uh, it's yeah and there's a uh, designed by phase on youtube is saying hi debbie and craig thank you so much for showing the techniques for the right 3d glue gel mine's got dried out and i couldn't understand why there we go that's why Debbie's here to do our glue school when it comes to, of course, our starter skills. Right, Theo. Foam pads. We have got an abundance of foam pads, different sizes and different thicknesses. But what we've also got as well, we've got different sizes and different thicknesses thicknesses and different lengths when it comes to foam on a roll. Your foam pads are individual pads. Foam on a roll is a continuous roll. From smaller ones to great big ones, you've got variety of different foam adhesives to add height and structure and depth to your cards and projects. And I know Debbie's going to show us as well. So these are our dry glues, so to speak. Uh, foam pads give you the height, they give you the dimension, um, and we do have a variety. So I've got in front of me uh, the small foam on a roll and the large foam on a roll. So in terms of the sizes, there is a lot, uh, and it's a thinner one as well. So dimension-wise, uh, this is a 10 mil by two mil, and uh, two meters, sorry, <laughs> two meters. Then we've got uh, the foam on a roll, which is uh, five mil in width and um, a three depth and 10 meters so you've got a lot more and foam on a roll is uh, now allows you to have that continuous uh, 
roll of foam so you can place it around things like shaker cards um, and all those other kind of things that you want to create a little bit of height. The craft foam pads themselves, they come in again a variety of sizes. In the smaller ones, on the double sided, you've got, and these are the small ones which get 880 pieces. Um, then you've got like a medium size, again double sided, um, you've got 320 pieces. And then the larger ones are the craft foam pads uh, where there's 80. So these are the, the bigger ones. And again, it's about uh, using the different ones for the different um, features. So I'm just going to open that up just for a second, just so I can show you, especially when it comes to like, you can still do all your decoupage with your foam. Um, and again, foam pads, pop those on. They stick on one side and then they've got the adhesive on the other. So you just peel back the back in and then just line up when it comes to your decoupage. And again, if I come back in with another one here, it sticks instantly down, peel that back in off, and then place over the top to give your height and dimension in terms of your decoupage. And then, of course, you can do all the shaping that you would normally do, or you can shape beforehand and then mm -hmm. use your foam pads. It's entirely up to you, but you can still get in that height and dimension when it comes to decoupage. And, of course, with foam on a roll, what you've got here, and if I just bring out this one, You foam on a roll, what we're going to do is add a little bit of height and we'll create a little bit of a shaker card. So you've just got the end where you find and roll, take that off. And literally then what you're allowing this to do on a roll, it gives you dimension where you can literally bend that around. So I'm not having to cut. You can, of course, cut it, but you can, um, it's more pliable. It's more movable uh, with the foam on a roll. And then coming to that very end, I'll just grab some scissors just take that off it sticks instantly down and then you're just going to peel that back off so I'm just gonna make sure that's all the way around so get your hand underneath and peel that and take off that back in I'm just coming with my pokey tool it might be easier there we go just to take that off and then it allows you then to pop in things like your sequins for your shaker cards if I just pop some down and then I'm gonna just place it over the front like so and take that on and then you've got your lovely little shaker card there. Again, just giving you that height just under there. If I just took that, there you go. You can see now it's adhered and popped all those pieces in for you. So again, an absolutely fabulous uh, foam of all different sizes, all different pieces uh, to be able to cater for all your um, elements of dimension. Absolutely. So whether you're going to be going in with, of course, your smaller ones, maybe you're going to be going in with your larger ones. We've also got our medium ones. Nice to then add that height, as Debbie was showing. But then maybe you want to have that continuous roll when it comes to the ability of doing your shakers. You've got that. So you've got your smaller. You've also, of course, got your great big foam on a roll, but variety of foam adhesives that you've got when it comes to our pads and our rolls. The, um, it, it, it really is. I think it's one of those as well, Debbie, is once you've tried either or, you do, you do, you do have a favourite whether it's glue gel or over a foam pad. There's uh, room for both, as there I said is. earlier on. I still use my glue gel quite a lot. And it's one that you're going to try. As a beginner, try them both. As I said earlier, on, I would recommend, of course, the glue gel, but then at least there's other benefits that the foam yeah. pads have got. And because you've got them in them different sizes, so things like the small... People often ask me, what do you use the smaller ones for? Um, you can use it for your embellishments. So things like your ribbons and your gems and things like that, you can use them for that if you want to, if you want to create a little bit of height again. Um, I love foam because there's bendy. Yes. You've got... It's more pliable, if that's exactly. the right word I'm thinking of. Mm -hmm. But you know yeah. what I mean by that. So you can bend them into shape a little bit, bit better than... I'm not saying better, but a different kind of way that you can use them in terms of your 3D Kalal glue, which, again, you'll use for all your things like Definitely. decoupage and, and the embellishments. Uh, but that's a wet glue. This is what I call... I know it sounds daft when I say dry. I know, I know. But you what know you what mean, I mean yeah. when I say dry? There's no um, wetness to it, if that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. And it's an instant stick as well, so it's quite an instant grab. Yeah. Um, so it's, they're absolutely, they've, they've all got their place um, in the terms of your uh, crafty stash and your glue stash, shall we call it? Shall we call yeah. it a glue yeah. stash? Let's yeah. call it a glue That's stash. Right. Yeah. But you have got um, lots of different choices. Obviously, form on a roll, and we're not going to burst into song, so please don't worry. Nope. We're not so, going to burst yes. into the song, not Linda shit. Armstead, don't even bother. <laughs> I'm not singing. 
<laughs> not singing. But yeah, honestly, it's 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 um, Formula Roll is brilliant, especially when it comes to the shakers, especially exactly. when you want to add that dimension. You you want that um, again. You don't have to chop into it. You can just bend it and move it into the shape. So that's why Formula Roll for me is why I have it in my stash and foam pads as well. I've been using them a lot more of late. I have oh, been yeah. using them a lot more of late. Yes, I have. Uh, but again, do lots of um, like that lifting. So if you want to add a little bit of depth and dimension to your yeah. projects, they're the ones that you'll go for as well. So yeah, absolutely. I, I love them. Love they really them. are. They really are. I'm um, actually designed by Faze on YouTube is saying, Debbie, what was the dimension of that number card you just done? The dimension as in the size? I, I think maybe it was just the, the size. Yeah, card. Size. Um, I'll, I'll yeah. be totally honest, I don't know, and I've just chucked it down here. I'll find out for you <laughs> and let you know in a bit. I just literally just because I've got that much to get through. I'm like, I've got to be quick because I'm going to be moving on to sprays in a second. No problem um, So, at yes, all. But I'll find out for you and let you know. Thank you, Debbie. We've got... Uh, so, uh, Pammy is... Well, Debbie gets set up. I could answer this one if Debbie doesn't mind here. Pammy on YouTube is saying, do foam pads come in thinner depths? Cost so much more postage here when your project is deep with the foam pads? Yeah, they do. Yeah, they, they come in uh, different depth. Usually, the main popular ones are between the, the 2 mil and the 3 mil, but you do get 1 mil as well if you want to. You actually get thicker as well. So just have a look. We've just shown a select few of the different depths and sizes of foam pads and the ways you could use them as to what Debbie was showing a moment ago. But what it, Debbie is showing, what she's using that you are going to find across on the website. You can, of course, still have a look at Shop the Day, but then you can just go into the banner, have a look at adhesives, and you're going to find all the adhesives, even more than what Debbie's able to show within this uh, one hour show on the starter skills. Then we've also got Meve is saying uh, chunky glue or 3D glue gel is her favourite. It's a favourite to many. Adhesive sprays, another way in which you can attach your projects together, toppers maybe, maybe it's just the backgrounds, maybe you want to clean any adhesive, maybe you want to give it a little bit of a shine. We've got a variety of different ways and I know Debbie's going to have a look at them right now. Uh, stick and stay, the first one, a permanent craft adhesive in a tin. Uh, and it's the one, you can see it's in red, so, uh, and it says on the front, your stick and stay. Gives you a couple of minutes of repositioning time before it sticks with that permanent bond. Um, so I've just taken a couple of sheets of um, all-purpose cardstock to show you what I mean by that. Now, again, when you take your stick and stay, um, it is clear, it's a spray adhesive, and um, it's all for perfect for all your craft, um, whether it's mats and layers or whether you're using things like glitter which I'm going to move on to in a second so first things first I'm just going to give it a little shake and then just take the top off now when you're spraying this we're going to spray down and I'm not going to go really close I'm just going to spray a little bit and it comes out like a almost like a little bit of like a foam and again you give it a good coverage you need to be in a well ventilated area when you're using this um, but you're, you've got a couple of minutes to get it repositioned if you don't get it in the first time so what we're going to do is literally now appear a uh, adhere two pieces of of cut um, cardstock together and when I just pop that on the top now give that a good stick down and you've got a super strong adhesive especially when it's dry so you've got that couple of minutes don't forget um, and again it's really super strong for in terms of um, things for uh, adhering anything that's a permanent glue so that's a permanent glue that's in the stick and stay and I did just say that you could use this for things like um, die cut pieces where you could add glitter so what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to spray the front of that give that a nice spray put that top back on and then you can apply things like um, glitter uh, and things like that. So you can create your own glitter cards. So I'm just chucking a little bit of glitter just down onto there and then just rubbing that in to where that glue is. I'll just do it to there. Let me just lift that up and just take, tap off the excess. 
And there you've got a lovely glitter card. You can make your own glitter cards with all your fine glitters, your chunky glitters, and all those kind of things. It really is um, a super strong permanent adhesive. Again, like I said, a couple of minutes to reposition if you don't get it right the first time. Um, so when you're doing things like your uh, layering mm -hmm. um, um, die cut elements, um, perfect for all the intricate die cut elements as well, because you can spray on the back of it, give it that couple of minutes, pop it down, and it's instant. It's like an instant bond. Um, absolutely fabulous but for me it's like creating your own glitter cards i just absolutely love so a little bit of glitter just onto there look at that looks absolutely amazing so this is stick and stay which is the permanent adhesive um in a can and i say in a can in a spray form uh, and called stickers day in your red and it is perfect for all of your craft um paper crafting um techniques as well so absolutely amazing love it absolutely fab fab when it comes to that one there so that one you can see that debbie was just doing that one was of course the permanent one i love that one in which she used so there's a few of them but that one was the red top which of course was the uh, permanent we've got as well when it when it comes to these ones just just to say as well i know i've said this in the past when debbie's going over uh what she's going over and that I can speak away. However, because Debbie's got a lot that she wants to go through, you know, I don't, I don't want to bother and interrupt it. But you may have just heard me every now and again going, wow, wow, that glitter. Even I've never thought about using the red top and then going over the glitter, Debbie. We talk about it in terms of like, when because you, you can't adhere all your cardstock. So mm -hmm. things like your um, die cut elements. So things like, let me just bring this in for a second. Do you know your butterflies? You yeah. can spray on the back and then you could layer them up. Um, you, literally, it's perfect for all your intricate die cut sentiments. Uh, perfect for, um, you know, you know, bigger project, bigger cardstock yes. if you want yeah, as well. That's true. Um, I just want people to remember because we don't, we don't often talk about these no, but don't. in terms of um, the spray. Uh, form of a glue, a permanent glue. It, it, I mean, if I try try in a second to pull that back, it's not it's not moving. I can't even get my finger in it. I'm trying to find the place. It's There's no way, isn't it? it <laughs> really is. Honestly, and, and I think people forget. Now we used to have a lovely custom called Wendy. Who worked. She actually worked at Crafters Companion for a little while after I'd left. Uh, but Wendy used it for things like, um, you know, making flags and adhering the flag poles oh. to the flags, um, because it is really, really strong. All you need to remember the, tr the you know, the rules of that. I said the rules of it, but all you need to remember is sp spraying back about 15 centimetres. You don't want to go Good really tip. close. So you've got to remember it's a spray. So the propellant, it will... It will so you make sure you're about 15 centimetres or so away from it. Um, and in a well-ventilated room, about 30 seconds. They've got tacky time. Okay. Two minutes before it dries solidly. So you have got time to be able to, to move it back if you haven't repositioned it in the first place. But honestly, it's, it's, it's just fabulous. And it's perfect. And it does tell you on the back, it'll tell you. It's perfect for your fabrics, cardboard, plastic, polystyrene all sorts of things that you want to adhere uh, to yeah. it i absolutely love the stuff and i do have it's got a, a, a place in my craft room for things that i use it for but i i love stick and stay so that's the permanent adhesive for anybody uh, just wanting to know perfect excellent for that one uh, we've, we've got as well uh pam is actually saying when it comes to the foam pads couldn't find them on the website are they not sold in the usa they must just be out of stock because uh, we do do the smaller ones the thinner ones when it comes to foam pads so if you really want ours just keep an eye of course onto our website uh susan griffith is also then saying i have been using call it all purpose much more than the tacky glue for wet sticking all my cards they never warp and the all-purpose it always fill, uh, firms up as well so there you go uh, right to so uh, sticking with of course our adhesive tin so we've seen one of them this one we can jump across to debbie who's going to go over some of the other ones so there's four in the range of our sprays and I'm just going to quickly give you a little overview of each single one. So what we've got here is, uh, and I'll talk first, it's in a green top lid and it's called our, and I'll try and turn it that way so you can see, it's called our Spray and Shine. So this is a high gloss varnish for all your paper um, crafting, for all your things that you want to add some varnish to and also a protective seal. So it gives a lovely little protective seal over the top 
top and if I just bring in just for a second to show you the board where you can see where the spray and shine has been applied so what we've got on uh, this side is the matte version but applying that varnish over the top you can actually see how lovely that looks and how uh, that varnished enamel finish that it creates and also a sealant as well and you apply it in the same way about 25 centimeters away um, in a well ventilated area but it's absolutely a fabulous um, uh, spray for all your varnishing projects this one here is your stick and spray so it's the what we call the reposition it's a temporary spray so when we talk about stencils and you want to adhere a stencil down but you don't want it to move yes. spray on the back of your stencil and then it's about 30 seconds again about 30 seconds um, pop it down onto your project and then when you um, are finished doing your inking techniques or your paste through there you simply peel it back because it's a repositional spray um, and again you can use it for paper and car stock and some fabrics cardboards and especially stencils it's that chosen one to use now the next one I'm going to cover is the one where I use a lot it's the stick away it's taking it away it's like removing all of your sticky residues from a variety of different surfaces including the glass mats mm -hmm. including craft mats your hands and things like that uh, those sticky labels that you might put on your windows it will remove those anything that's on the floor it will remove any kind of sticky um, surface anything that's got sticky residue away from it and that's why it's called the stick away and that's in a blue top uh, can and again about 15 centimeters away when you're spraying and about 30 seconds uh, for the best results when you want to um, take away any sticky residue and then lastly we've just covered but we'll talk again the stick and stay which is our permanent craft adhesive that you can use for um, all your mats and layers for any of your um, die cut pieces um, you can turn plain cardstock into glitter cardstock by using uh, colored glitter iridescent glitter and all those kind of things as well so all four have their own purpose and we'll just talk again stick and spray St sorry stick and stay which is the red tin stick away which is the blue tin stick and spray the repositional which is in the purple and then spray and shine which is in the gr green which is the varnish and they all come in the form of a tin as debbie said all four of them that you can see and uh, hear the ways in which you can use them when it comes to each of them as well they all come with a different top lid as well so that's the four of them that you've got within the show the i'm so glad you did it david because after all these years i always stumble on the name of each of them <laughs> always <laughs> Oh, do I've, it. I've and I had a little bit. Did you hear me? Then I'm like, oh my yeah. goodness me! I'm like, oh, I, I, because I, we don't talk about them no, a lot. No. But I love every single one of those. The stick and stick. stay. And I'm going to say it again. Well. Stick it's and stay. It's because it's all the stick. The stick and stay. It is exactly in the title. Stick and <laughs> stay. It's instant. Stick and spray. It's the uh, pr the re repositional. Um, the spray and shine. Mm -hmm. You get the indication with the word, and then the stick away. I mean, can I tell you I go through cans of this because I love a clean, clean mat I don't do. like a clean air, I don't like a messy area because it can spoil things and especially things like tape pens yep. because um, our dotty tape pen which I'm going to cover in a second uh, can leave a residue it sticks to the areas where it needs to stick to on the cardstock but can leave a residue on your uh, glass mat or craft mat and that's the one that I use to take it off the same with inks anything that's got stainage on um, and I use it for such a lot and I will tell you in store when we used to display window displays this was the one that we used to adhere them off and we oh, once had to put like little right. footprints down on the floor but we couldn't get them off with the sticky surfaces but this cleared it all it looked like Straight brand new away. flooring it's absolutely amazing the stick away i can't recommend it enough i can't recommend it all four enough because they all do a different job but i love them i absolutely love them yes, fabulous they are good they're really really good just to say as well so uh pardon me that one about couldn't find these on the website are they not sold in the usa that was actually referring to these so you won't find them on our usa warehouse uh website it's all about we're not able to ship them in here or even by cargo when it comes to the contents of the spray. What we do do every now and again is we do select amount at HSN managed to get them. So I think we can't do it by 
We can't do it by air, but we can do it by shipment, and that's how every now and again we will do a shipment to HSN. So no, you won't find them on our Crafters Companion USA page, website, but you will occasionally find them on HSN, so you could just have a look for there. We've got also uh, designed by Faisal on YouTube, Debbie is saying, is stick and stay good for sticking intricate dies without seeing through the actual adhesive? So, uh, and I use my stick and stay for those reasons. If I haven't got any dotty tape pens, <laughs> Um, which right now not many of no, us have got. No. Um, I do use my spray, the stick and stay, for that reason. All you need to remember is it can. It's 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 a very strong adhesive and it bonds very strongly as well. Um, so what I would say is pop it into. Um, I have like a little box that's got um, a craft mat down, Craig. I don't know. Okay. I call it my gubbins box. Yes. Um, our lovely Liam made me a little Debbie box, a bit like Brenda. We talk about Brenda. Oh yeah, Brenda. We get Brenda out. Um, um, spray it in, lightly spray, pick that off and then apply it on and you will be able to put all your uh, intricate uh, dyes over the top and it doesn't leave it on the other end. As long as, you've had, as, long as you haven't got any glue on the other end, mm -hmm. you'll yes. be fine because be it, doesn't, fine. It, doesn't, it doesn't come through. It's a, not works the same way as a dotty tape pen, but it's a, a good substitute for those intricate dyes. So yes, absolutely. Yeah. Brilliant. And we've got one more. We're just about to do it in a moment. But before that, Charlotte Everett is saying thank you so much, Debbie, for going through this with all of the sprays. That's what it said. Debbie's here for it. It's always good to see. Tape runners. We have got two within the range. We have got our straight tape runner. We've also got one that is dotted tape runner. Both of them are 22 metres in length. Both serve a purpose, and I know Debbie's about to have a look at them right now. So what I call the dry glue, uh, double-sided adhesive though, but in the form of a tape pen. And we've got two different types. So we have our, the both super strong glues, uh, but this one is what we call the straight edge one. So I say straight, I'll show you in a second how we're gonna use this. Both in purple casing, one slightly darker than the other. And on the front, you'll see that that is a straight strip whereas this one is the dotty one. Um, so this one I'll talk about in a second, but firstly, what I'm gonna show you is um, how to use this. 22 meters of super strong glue. And like I've said, as strong as a wet glue, but it's just in a portable dry form mm -hmm. and in a really easy, convenient, and I'm gonna call it an instrument. We normally call it a mouse, but in an instrument that be able to apply your glue. Now you have got 22 meters on each one, like I said, and the simple way to use one of these is is, and I'm just going to show you if I if I tell you what I'll come this way let me move those out of the way just to the side so that you can see when we do it on the side when you apply your glue on it is the lightest of touches you don't need to be heavy-handed with this you have um, a little place for your finger to sit on and grab hold of but when you run this down it it produces like a straight edge now when you're using this I want you to remember to give it a little tiny before you lift it off a flick and again, if I just show you, let me just move that on just a slightly. There we go. Flick off that edge. And it produces a really solid piece of strong adhesive. And these really are strong adhesive. You can use these for construction, for your mats and layers. But it's what we call a dry glue. Um, and again, you can apply things like glitter to them, your gilding flakes to them, and all those different types of um, glues that you can pop on, which are just absolutely, they look lovely when they're, when they're all done. But this is our straight, and we call it the straight tape pen. I'll just quickly move on to the dotty tape pen, which again is super strong. It's absolutely fabulous. Uh, but this time, what the dotty does is it adheres all your, do you know your decorative fancy die cuts? But you don't want glue seeping through. This this is the one that we would use and we always talk about it so when I say that it adheres and I've just got myself a little butterfly just here to show you what I mean um, and I'm going to lay this one down flat so I've got my solid piece here but when you're applying your dot it's exactly the same it's in this lovely you know portable dry convenient piece again shaped like a mouse the dots on the side to differentiate a darker deeper purple in color again 22 meters on and again very strong it's a, a, a strong uh, dotty adhesive when you apply it on you're just going to do exactly the same little flicks just over the top and then what this does is it literally doesn't leave any adhesive 
in the gaps. It sticks to where it needs to stick, but on this side, totally clear, so there's no glue seeping through. Now, if I just pop that down onto the top, you now have got an, a literally stuck down, super, super strong again. And the same with the other one. Now, with this one, it's a little bit more delicate, so I'll just move that to one side. I'm to turn that over a little bit just to show you again. So you apply it and you can see it's going into the areas, but it's catching on those die cut elements, onto those uh, intricate die cut elements. And again, if I just do that all the way across, and it's still super strong, uh, but what we're gonna do now is just place that over the top. And now what we've got is a brilliant butterfly stuck down solidly, but no glue seeping through. And that's why the dotty tape pen we would say apply to all of your decorative fancy die cuts both have got their own job literally we've got the super strong um, adhesive the, the straight edge one and then the dotty one um, and you can see light purple dark purple straight edge dotty edge perfect and that is both of them you use them exactly in the way that debbie's just shown you and explained our glue tape runner our dots and our straight tape runner as well the uh, there's actually just before we go as well so we've got a couple couple of questions there um now i wasn't sure i was having a little nosy i'm not sure if debbie would which probably will do so we carve on youtube is saying is the spray and shine weatherproof oh do you know uh, i don't think it's weatherproof i don't think it's weatherproof. It, no it's not weatherproof no. um it's a sh it, it seals so i wouldn't be using it for outside no. projects like you know you wouldn't be doing that it would be it's, it's for paper crafting yeah. it gives a varnish a varnish it and it does seal but as far as weatherproof goes no i would not recommend it for anything outdoors um but yes it's a lovely varnish it's a lovely mm -hmm. seal it looks fabulous it creates and it lifts those projects i'll just show you that again yeah, so you can see do. that because i've got my board just down there um you can see that ultra shine if i just i'm going to try and anchor it for charlotte to pick that up oh perfect there look, look at that absolutely incredible i love spray and shine i absolutely yes. adore it um because you've got that lovely varnish finish it almost get i mean to look at it it's like a reflective mirror it is, isn't uh, it? but yeah. absolutely beautiful and it's a, a fabulous spray but in terms of weatherproof, no. no. No, no. And if it was weatherproof, it would say it on the tin, and it doesn't. I was having a look while Debbie was going over the glue pen, so uh, it is not. And then the last question for now, we've got Gillian is actually, she's on YouTube, Debbie, and it's going on about the sprays. Yes. She's saying, not sure what I'm doing wrong with the stick and stay, but it seems to get more on my fingers, and I find it hard to reposition once the two pieces of card I've even met and I've not even pressed down. Yeah, which is why I recommended saying, do you know about having your little, I call, I call a Brenda, mine's a Debbie, but mm. having a little box. Yes. Um, I used to have, do you know, a box lid and I, I, sit, I, I pop down using uh, the stick and stay and I pop down my craft mat in there. I chopped up a cra an old craft mat, popped it in there and that was my um, glue booth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Want a better I word? Like that. Uh, so that I didn't. And I used to use tweezers as the only time I use tweezers, oh, yeah. Greg, because I don't like tweezers. Uh, but it's the only time that I do use tweezers because, mm -hmm. yes, you can get it on your hand. However, if you get it on your hand, use your stick away. Yep. Spray the stick away onto your hand and it gets rid of all that stickiness. But yes, I, I get what you're saying because it is, uh, it is a messy, it's very, and you'll know because if you've used it, you know how you know. super strong it is once it's on those hands. Use a stick away to get that off uh, but have a little glue booth i'm going to call it a glue booth i'm not going to call it brenda or debbie no. um call it a glue booth so that you can do that and use your tweezers to stop it from going on your hands the nature of it is a super strong adhesive it bonds very quickly um that way i think you would be able to uh, get around um not getting it all over your hands um and that repositional time is very quick it's not you know it's not something like we said about 30 seconds for it to, ta to go to the tacky we always recommend about 30, 15 to 30 seconds for mm -hmm. all of them before you start to especially with your stick away definitely, um, definitely. give it a bit of time to be able to soak in and lift your residue it's not a spray and then wipe it's no. a spray leave it for about 30 seconds then go to it that applies for all of them including the stick and spray mm -hmm. which is the 
temporary one um, onto the back of your uh, stencils and things like that. Um, give it that little bit of time before you apply or take away. Um, but the same with the glue, it's only, um, a I'm, I'm saying a couple of minutes. I, I personally think it's less than that I because it is super hot. And it will depend as well on how hot your area is um, for the drying time in terms of that instant stick. So yes, um, I hope that's helped a little bit. Yeah. Um, well, actually, Rachel has uh, she just messaged me as well to say that um, everyone certainly by the comments have found this show, Debbie, with yourself going over the adhesives, so so useful and informative. So I know that's of course what we do these for. So whether of course it was the all-purpose, the tacky glue, we've got the glue gel, we've got foam pads, sprays, the tape runners, you now know that you've got this show that you can drop back to when it comes to our YouTube channel and see exactly what Debbie was showing when it comes to the different adhesives. But that's not it for myself and Debbie. We are going to be back again. If you are uh, watching live, then we're going to be back in, uh, well, what, about a couple hours or so? And we have got, well, uh, Debbie, we've got a first look, haven't we? I'm so excited, because <laughs> I absolutely love this brand. Well, you are getting a sneak peek into the brand new Sarah Signature Collection in the form of a box. Um, and it's sent with love. It's all about the, the love. Mm -hmm. um, and what is it for Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, any kind of occasion you want to spread a little bit of love, we're going to give you a little delve into the world of uh, That Sent With Love Box. We're going to show you absolutely everything. And I've got a couple of demos lined up. Well. Um, beautiful, beautiful collection. The most divine papers ever. I'm Our wanting a great big pad of it. I'm going to speak to Liam because I absolutely adore them, but you're going to love it. So make sure you tune in for that first look, and that little sneaky peek into uh, what is coming up later on in the week with our fabulous Sarah and Ben. It is indeed. That's going to be two o'clock here in the UK, 9am Eastern time, 6am Pacific time, as to, exactly as Debbie was saying. Have that first look. Now, we will find, or you will find, everything that Debbie was showing you across on the website. Uh, most things will be there as well. Anything that's out of stock, you can always just pop your email address in and once it is back in stock, you will be alerted. That is, of course, across on crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. Have a look at Shop the Day, but then have a little bit of a peruse throughout as to what's been uh, showcased throughout this week on Crafters TV. Maybe, of course, you have been in the mood or getting in the mood for storage and organisation. You can find lots of things across there as well. But me and Debbie, we will also feature it later on in the day within Second Chance Sunday, 6 o'clock here in the UK, 1pm Eastern Time or 10am Pacific Time. If you are watching live, myself and Debbie, Jake and Charlotte will see you in a couple of hours. Bye.